Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind up. And we're going to start it off with the old man still got it. You may have heard that Geezer Butler, Black Sabbath uh, bassist, was arrested uh, earlier this week for uh, being uh, publicly intoxicated, uh, starting a fight, and I think vandalism as well. So. Uh, I guess the story goes they had a little too much to drink. Something happened, you know. Maybe, uh, maybe someone argued with them about the uh, the Sabbath with Glenn Hughes days or when Ronnie James Dio. I don't know, but the whole thing is is uh, is that uh, the old man got booked. So, and speaking of old guys that still got it, Alice Cooper fans can watch his uh, live show on February twelfth. It's, it's going to be streaming via pay per view. He'll be performing down in Austin. So if you've always wanted to see. Uh, the madman himself, Mr. Cooper. Uh, again, you'll find it online, pay-per-view style, February 12th. Also on February 12th, another icon of the music world. You can be, uh, you can watch uh, speak, actually. He's going to be giving a speech in Washington, D.C., a couple different spots, talking about Eddie Van Halen. Of course, he was a Dutch immigrant, and he's had a very uh, interesting American life. Uh, many people know that he really kind of revolutionized the whole guitar world uh, and with his uh, playing abilities in Van Halen, so he'll talk about that and talk about the guitars. So again, another day, February 12th, to watch, watch something online. Mr. Eddie Van Halen delivering a speech up in Washington, D.C. And speaking of shredders, Slash uh, this week uh, moves in with his new girlfriend and they get matching tattoos. Now, it was reported, I guess, like, what, last month or last week or something like that. Uh, him and Perla Hudson filed for divorce. Uh, they had some problems before. They tried to reconcile him. This time, irreconcilable differences. Now, as for the gal that he got the tattoo with, uh, it was reported that they dated something like 25 years ago. So this isn't just something new and fresh. Looks like there might be some sort of uh, relationship that's been there or is staying there. Slash is also going to be featured in a new uh, VH1 kind of rockumentary. I'm going to read it from the list here. It's Rock Icons. It's going to premiere on February 21st. Not only Slash, uh, you'll have uh, Rob Halford, Ted Nugent, Ann Wilson from Heart, Dave Mustaine from Me uh, Megadeth, Nikki Six from Motley Crue, Daryl Hall from Hall & Oates, Joe Elliott from Def, Le uh, Def Leppard, Def Leppard, and uh, Billy Corgan from Smashing Pumpkins. The whole thing will kick off, though, with Mr. Getty Lee of Rush. Of course, Rush is going to be here at the Sprint Center uh, later on this year. Just check out the website or check out your concert calendar on your Rock app. And that about does it for your weekly Rock Windup. I will be out and about tomorrow in uh, Gardner from noon to 2 at Casey's. We will have the Jeep on display of which you might be able to win a key for that will start that bad boy. Also, a little side note, uh, there's a kid in my neighborhood, Dominic Vargas. He's 10 years old. He has been battling leukemia since he was 6. And they're doing a fundraiser to help uh, raise some money for him uh, at the Matchbox Bar and Grill on the Boulevard from 1 to 5. That takes place also on Saturday. So if you can swing by, drop a couple bucks off. If you can't, be want to make a donation. I've had some people ask me about that that live outside of Kansas City. Just go to uh, any U.S. bank and let them know you'd like to make a donation for the Dominic Vargas Fund. I'm Niven. Thank you very much for tuning into Weekly Rock Windup. Have a great weekend. Peace. Uh, did something happen to your car, Niven? Hey, everybody. This is the ultimate security, so no one can steal my ride. <laughs>